A Scottish Tory leadership candidate has defended the presence of a sex row former MP at her campaign launch as she called for lower taxes on business and high earners. Michelle Ballantyne said she valued Ross Thompson's opinion and he had always been a friend as he sat in the front row of her launch in Edinburgh this morning. The SNP called Mr Thompson's involvement seriously unwise and said it raised questions about Ms Ballantyne's political judgment. Mr Thompson stood down as a Tory candidate at the general election after a Labour MP publicly accused him of groping him in a Commons bar. Mr Thompson said not running for re-election in Aberdeen South had been the hardest decision of my life, although he had lost the confidence of his local party. It followed Paul Sweeney, then Labour MP for Glasgow North East, reporting Mr Thompson to Westminster's Standards Watchdog about an alleged incident in October 2018. Mr Sweeney claimed Mr Thompson had been extremely drunk when he grabbed him through his clothes in the strangers bar at Westminster leaving him paralysed with shock. Mr Thompson denied wrongdoing and claimed he was the victim of a political smear. Ms Ballantyne, the underdog in the race to replace Ruth Davidson as Scottish Tory leader, launched her campaign with an appeal to working-class voters who had never voted Tory before, saying she understood their lives and wanted to help them get on. Asked about Mr Thompson's role, the South of Scotland MSP said, I've known Ross for a long time. We shared a platform way back when we were both councillors. I value Ross's opinion. He's always been a friend. Asked about the sexual assault claim that stopped him standing in the election, she said, I think you should read the report that's coming out on the investigation. I believe it's a Westminster investigation. There's been a full investigation. I work on the truth of what has been proven, not on speculation and spurious untruth. Mr Sweeney called Mr Thompson's presence at the event disappointing. He said, I haven't had any communication from the Parliamentary Commissioner for Standards to say the investigation has concluded or a ruling has been reached. As far as I'm concerned, the incident is still under live investigation and the Commissioner has still to make a judgment. I completed my evidence statement just before Christmas. It strikes me as quite obnoxious that he, Mr Thompson, hasn't been suspended as a member of their party pending the outcome of the Parliamentary Commissioner for Standards investigation, given the nature of the allegations. An SNP spokesperson said, It is seriously unwise to have Ross Thompson so heavily involved in a leadership campaign when an investigation into his behaviour is yet to report. This will only compound questions over for more on this story, visit the news article link.